And time for another really short one-off kind of video here. This time what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and bake a color map for going into Quixel. So let me change my layout here. I'm going to go back to uh, modeling standard layout. And you can see I've got my low poly. It's already unwrapped, ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and hide that guy. And then I've got my high poly right here. And I've already set up some material IDs all over this thing, so I'm ready to go on that. One thing I want to do at this point is just in case I screw something up at some point in this process, I want to have some backups here in my scene file. So I'm going to select my low poly. I'm going to do a control D to duplicate that. I'm going to rename this one as doorway low backup, just in case, because you never know what I'm going to do. Uh, then this other one, I'm going to do a control D, rename this one as doorway high poly backup. And in fact, this doorway high poly right here, I'm going to rename that one and get rid of the doorway one that comes after it. All right, there we go. So I've got some backups just in case. So I'm now ready to go ahead and bake out my color map. So let's change our menus to rendering, modeling, and oops. Nope, don't want that. Uh, we don't care about that one either. Uh, so we're going to go, we're going to go, what are we going to do? Um, actually, we're going to go ahead and close Google. There we go. We're going to go um, rendering. That's what we're doing, modeling and Rendering and lighting and transfer maps. Uh, let's see. So I've got some stuff in here. I'm just, I'm just gonna get rid of everything and, and start over because I'm not sure what all that was. So I'm just gonna start over. Nice. Okay. So my target. That's gonna be my low poly one. Have you, however you've named things, this is gonna be beneficial. And also just that starting over that I just did. It guarantees that you're putting the right things in the right place. So doorway. That's my low poly guy. That's my target. Uh, high poly is going to be my source. And I'm going to do a diffuse map. I'm going to save this in doorway baked maps. Yeah, not as a pix, but as a targa. There we go. I'm going to call this Maya color ID. And I'm doing Maya color ID to differentiate from the one that's going to be fixed after I do some stuff in endo. Uh, so let's save that. Targa, my common settings, yes. Connect output maps, no. This is entirely optional. You can leave this on, but once again, what this does is this is going to connect this diffuse map that we're getting ready to make. It's going to connect it to the material on this doorway, and then what's going to end up happening is they're both going to look identical as you switch back and forth, and that's going to get kind of confusing. Well, not identical because the high poly has this extra model detail. But anyway, since I don't actually care about my materials here in Maya, I'm not going to use that. Maya common output, whatever size I use here has to match whatever size I output my UV layout. Uh, because I'm going to be using these all the way through. So if I go ahead and look at my UV layout, and I go to, uh, say, details here. Oh, that's right. It thinks it's an audio file. So if I go into uh, Photoshop here. And pull this over and take a look at image, image size. I see I'm doing 2K here. I can always drop this down when I'm ready to uh, put this into a game engine. I can drop it down to whatever I want then. But for my development, I would like to have minimum 1K. I usually work in 2K. Uh, 4K is wonderful. Uh, it tends to slow my system down just a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and bake this uh, at medium there. And under advanced options, and really the reason it slows my system down is because I tend to be doing a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, advanced options, this I only need for baking normals. Don't need it right now. So medium, size I want, keep aspect ratio, all that looks wonderful. Bake and close. Uh, let this fill up down here. And then we will have our color ID ready to go into dedo and endo. Uh, well, actually be ready to go to, into endo. And then I'm going to be making some changes to it as a result of whatever it is I do within DDo. So let's see. Let's wait for that to finish up real quick. Let's go ahead and close that window. New. I don't want to save that. Okay, so let's see what we've got there. Just double check that one really quick. So I'm going to grab my color ID, throw it into Photoshop, and here's my color ID. Looks pretty nice. I see areas I'm going to have to be cleaning up. No big deal. I'll clean those up. 
when I'm ready to. I don't need to really worry about it just yet, uh, but that's going to be part of my process coming out of Endo is to get all of these cleaned up really well. Um, okay, so yeah, there we go. We have baked out a color map for Quicksol.